every overcomer in the house shout seven loud hallelujah one two go hallelujah 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 can we lift up our voice as we sing this special hymn unto the king of kings and the lord of lords because it's a brand new month it's a wonderful month a wonderful day it's going to be a wonderful week it's going to be a wonderful year it's going to be a wonderful decade for each and every one of us in the mighty name of jesus all hail the power of jesus name la 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 one two go all hail the power of jesus name let angels prostrate for fall. Let angels prostrate for Bring forth the royal diadem to crown me, 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 and crown him, Lord of all. Crown him. Ye martyrs of our God, who from his altar call, who's from his altar call, extol him, he who's his path, ye trod and crown me, 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 and crown him, Lord. Of Lord, ye chosen seed of Israel's race, ye ran some from the fall, ye ran some from the fall. Hail him who saves you by his grace and crown me, crown me, crown me, crown me, crown me. Crown me, crown me, and crown me, Lord of Lords. We see Nazareth's love never forgets the warm wood and the God. The warm wood and the God. Go spread your trophies at his feet. And crown me, 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 and crown me, Lord of Lords. Let every king, let every fight on this terrestrial ball, on this terrestrial ball, to him. Oh, majesty, ascribe and crown me, 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 and crown me, Lord of all. Oh, that with your sacred throng we are to speak before we are. His feet may fall, will join in the everlasting song. And crown me, crown me, crown me, crown me, crown me, crown me, crown him, and crown me, Lord of all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Beloved, I welcome each and every one of us to this month of laughter in the name of Jesus. The, our month, the month of July has been declared through the servants of God, Pastor Wally Olajim, our Father and Lord, as the month of laughter. Our month of laughter in our year of enlightenment. Our month of laughter according to Psalm 126 verses 1 and 2. Psalm 126 verses 1 and 2 says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then, we, then they said among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for them. I declare to you and I declare to your destiny today by the authority in the name of Jesus that 
this month you will laugh in the name of Jesus. You will laugh last on that matter. You will laugh last in the name of Jesus. In this month of laughter, those who laugh at you before now shall come to laugh with you in the name of Jesus. They will come to laugh with you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will do marvelous things for you this month. Marvelous things for you. That scripture says, they say among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord will do great things for you, for your family, for your children, for your spouses, in the name of Jesus. The Lord will do great things, great and marvelous things the Lord will do in this month of laughter. And fill your mouth with laughter in the mighty name of Jesus. He will fill your mouth with laughter in the mighty name of Jesus. This month shall be your best month yet this year. In the name of Jesus, it shall be your best month yet this year. In the name of Jesus. In this month of laughter, you will not come to, you know, this, your, your laughter will not come to sorrow. In the name of Jesus, your laughter will not come to sorrow. In the name of Jesus, this month of laughter shall be sorrow free. Sorrow free. Frustration free. In the name of Jesus. It shall be tragedy free for you and your family members. In the mighty name of Jesus, in this month of laughter and in, and in this year of enlightenment, you will laugh and enlarge in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you that every second of this month, every minute, every hour, every day of this month, every week of this month shall be soul free, shall be accident free in the name of Jesus. We are going to sing this song and dedicate every every moment of the month into the hand of the Lord. They are yours, oh my Lord. I I release them to you. My morning, my noon, and my evening. They are yours, oh my Lord. They are yours, oh my Lord. They are yours, oh my Lord. Oh, I release them to you. My morning, my noon, and my evening. They are yours, oh Jesus, 
by the power and the blood of Jesus. I block every access that the enemy is using to manipulate your dream world. This month, they will not prosper in the name of Jesus. I have blocked that access. 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 In the name of Jesus, in this month of laughter, you will not be terrified in your dreams. You will not be terrified in your dreams. You will not be terrified in your dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, the day Jesus appeared before Pilate for judgment, Pilate's wife came to Pilate and said, Look, my husband, wash your hands off the case of this innocent man. Because I have suffered many things in my dream because of him. I pray for you. You will not suffer in your dream again. In the name of Jesus, you will not be terrified in your dreams again. In the name of Jesus, every, every access the enemy is using to you know, uh, terrorize you in the dream, to manipulate your dream, terrorize you, steal from you, desecrate your harvest in the dream world, and it's not my person in the physical. I pray, let that access be blocked with the name of Jesus. Let that access be blocked by the blood of Jesus. Let that access be blocked by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I laminate your destiny with the blood of Jesus. I laminate all your internal organs from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet in the name of Jesus with the blood of Jesus. This month of laughter, no sickness in the name of Jesus. 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 This month of laughter shall be calamity free for you and I in the name of Jesus. Calamity free. Calamity free. Calamity free in the name of Jesus. Shall be calamity free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every plan of darkness against you and your family this month. Every concluded work of darkness, it is written, for this purpose was the Son of God manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Every work of darkness for this month, arranged against you, arranged against you, planned against you, shall scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, shall scatter by fire, shall scatter by fire, shall scatter by fire, shall scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every plan to punish you, every plan to frustrate you, every plan to wound you, this month of laughter, that plan shall be aborted, shall be cut short, shall be aborted, shall be cut short, shall be aborted, shall be cut short, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, your divine allocation of blessing this month will not elude you, in the name of Jesus, your divine allocation of blessing for this month will not elude you. In the name of Jesus, all your blessings, any blessing anywhere in the world that carries your name in any nation of the world shall locate you in the name of Jesus. It shall get to you. It shall locate you. It shall get to you in the name of Jesus. Your blessings will not be diverted in the name of Jesus. They will not be diverted in the name of Jesus. Your divine allocation of favor and progress for this month will not miss you. It will not miss you. It will not miss you. In the name of Jesus. It will not miss you. In the name of Jesus. Your divine allocation of progress. Your divine allocation of advancement and, 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 you know, and enlargement for this month of laughter. For this month of Judah will not miss you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Set to praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Beloved, we have covered the first half of the year. We've entered today into the second half of the year. There's, there's something they call halftime in football. And it's at halftime that the coaches change strategies. After watching what happened in the first half, they change strategy. They say, do this. They move this. Sometimes they change players and do all that. I want to pray a prayer for somebody watching me right now. The strategy that you need for this second half, the, sec you know, the plan of God that you need, the strategy, the idea that you need for this second half, so that you would defeat the enemy, so that that's scoreless first half. If you have scored a scoreless, you know, if you have had a scoreless first half, the strategy that you need in this second half of the year that will lift you up on high, 
that will deliver that trophy into your hand. Receive that strategy. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Beloved, we want to bless the name of the Lord for how far he has brought us. We want to thank God for January, for February, for March, April, May, and June. We thank God for this month of July. We're giving God advanced thanksgiving for this month of July. For what he will do, he has declared it as the month of laughter. And you and I will laugh in the name of Jesus. We shall laugh. Over that matter, you will laugh. Over that troublesome child in the family, you will laugh last in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not use your children to punish you in the name of Jesus. You will do well. You will confront. You will conquer in the name of Jesus. You will have victory at last over that matter in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today we're dealing with our expectations shall be fulfilled. This is our month of laughter. Our expectations shall be fulfilled. Please, I want to, I want to implore you to please press the share button on your, on your device. Share this with the watch party. Invite friends and family. Everyone on your contact list, please call them in for us to pray at this very minute. God bless you. God bless you real good. My expectations shall be fulfilled. Everybody say that to yourself where you are. Say my expectations shall be fulfilled. My expectations shall be fulfilled. My expectations shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. My expectations shall be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 62 verses 1 and 2 says, Truly my soul waited upon God. From him cometh my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. The Lord is your defense. The Lord is your defense. You will not be greatly moved this month, throughout this year and this decade and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look, what, look at what the Word of God says in Proverbs 23 and verse 18. Proverbs 23 and verse 18 says, For surely there is an end, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. For surely there is an end. An end to what? An end to that problem. An end to that crisis. An end to that, you know, to that battle. An end to that lack of progress. An end to that stagnation. An end to everything negative in your life. Surely there is an end. And the expectation of the righteous, you are the righteous. Every child of God is righteous before God. And the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off. Will not be cut off. Meaning it shall be fulfilled. It shall be fulfilled to the glory of the Almighty God. Now say this loud and clear after me. Say, surely, surely. as I have thought, so it shall come to pass. And as I have proposed, so shall it stand. God's counsel will stand. And he will do his good pleasure in my life. My expectation will not be cut off in the name of Jesus. My expectation will not be cut off in the name of Jesus. You see, this world is wicked indeed. It's a really, really wicked world. We live in a very wicked and perverse world. Everywhere you look, the enemy is wrecking havoc. Everywhere, all over the world, whether it's Europe, America, Asia, not from North Pole to the South Pole, it's the same thing happening everywhere. People are dying, people are being killed. People's expectations are being disappointed, they are being delayed, they are being manipulated, they are being caged, they are being covered, they are being blocked, some are being padlocked. I want to pray a prayer for somebody. All your disappointed expectations, all your delayed expectations, all your manipulated expectations, all your caged expectations, all your covered expectations shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. They shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. Every padlocked expectation today, let the thunder fire of God locate that padlock and shatter it to pieces. In the name of Jesus, locate that padlock, shatter it to pieces. Locate that padlock, shatter it to pieces. In the name of Jesus. A lot of people's expectations are being hijacked, they are being transferred, they are being exchanged, they are being emptied. Some are being swallowed and some are being destroyed. I pray that every worker surrounding your testimony 
Enough is enough. Every warfare surrounding your testimony, by the thunder fire of God, let that warfare scatter by fire. Let that thunder, let, let that warfare scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Let that warfare scatter by fire. Let that warfare scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. With all your heart, you have been walking, you have been laboring, nurturing, and watering your clouds. You have been playing, you know, you have been praying and fasting. You have been tithing and serving God with holiness, with righteousness, with integrity, with love. And you know, you know, and you are expecting your father that is full of rain to begin to empty. But somehow, somehow, something is holding it back. I pray, whatever is holding your cloud from emptying the rain of blessing upon you, let that hand wither by fire Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. That invisible hand blocking your rain of blessing from getting to you from your cloud that is full of rain, of the rain of blessing. Let that hand wither by fire Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at what the word of God says in Ecclesiastes 11 and verse 3. He says, if the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where the tree falls, there it shall be. There it shall be. It shouldn't be anywhere else. So your blessing that is meant for you shouldn't be anywhere else. It should locate you and manifest. I pray for you. Every blessing with your name attached to it, that blessing will locate you in the name of Jesus. It shall be delivered into your hands in this month of laughter. The Lord will fill your mouth with laughter. In the name of Jesus, that overdue promotion is coming. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you that man watching me right now, that overdue promotion is coming. In the name of Jesus. That overdue promotion is coming. In the name of Jesus. That overdue promotion is coming. It is coming. In the name of Jesus, that contract is coming. In the name of Jesus, that proposal shall receive the the blessing of God, the favor of God, Amen. in the name of Jesus. You will get good news this month. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You see, in the kingdom of darkness, they hold people's expectations. They hold it, they block it, they manipulate it, they do all kinds of things. They watch over people's things and they say, no, you can't have this. No, it's not time to have this. Daniel was praying for 21 days. Bible says, you know, when they just came to God, you know, they just said, we, your, since the days I prayed, your prayer was heard, and the answer was released. But unfortunately, the angel that was coming with the answer was blocked by the place of passion. So the answer couldn't get to him. So the, meaning that the answer was hanging in space. I pray for you. Your answers that are due, all your prayers that have been answered, and Pray, you know, the answers have been released, but it's not getting to you. Why? There's something blocking it. I pray. Any principality, any power, anywhere, hanging anywhere, blocking your blessings from getting to you. Blessing, you know, blocking those answer prayers from getting to you. Let the power of God sort them out. Let the power of God sort them out. Let the power of God sort them out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your cloud that is full of rain must, that rain must fall upon you. That rain of blessing must fall upon you. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you that whatever padlock, whatever strange wind that has been blowing your cloud away, let the fire of God clear them off. Amen. Let the fire of God clear them off. Amen. Let the fire of God clear them off. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever power that has been manipulating and pulling a covering cast over your head, over your heavens, that's preventing your rain to fall in its season. Let that covering cast bomb by fire. Let it bomb by fire. Let it bomb by fire. Let it bomb by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 25 and verse 7. Isaiah 25 and verse 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over the nations. Or he will destroy on this mountain, on this prayer mountain, this, on this <laughs> mountain, the surface of the covering cast over all the people and the veil that is spread over the nations. The veil spread over the nations. Why is the veil spread over the nations? To prevent them, to keep them in darkness. I pray for you. Every veil spread over your destiny to keep you in darkness, to prevent your, uh, your, your blessings, your expectations to get to you. Let that veil catch fire. 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 Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's look at a few lessons from scriptures. Then we're going to pray. Remember the story of Jacob. He was busy working for labor, 
But Laban wickedly manipulated the expectations. Jacob was to work for seven years for Rachel, his wife. Laban manipulated that process. After seven years, he gave him Leah. He had to work for another seven years before he could get Rachel, making 14. Then he had to work again for and, you know, another number of years for him to get the reward that was due to him for his labor over the years. So the journey of seven years became like 21. I pray for you. Every power manipulating your expectation, prolonging your journey from 40 days to 40 years. Let that power be arrested. 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 In the name of Jesus. That was in Genesis 30. The whole of the chapter, you, know, you can read it when you have time. Whatever manipulation is going on now, concerning your expectation and manifestation, the King of Glory shall remove it today in the name of Jesus. Let the King of Glory remove it today. Any manipulation going on anywhere, whether it's physical or spiritual, let it be removed by the power of the Almighty God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If there's any terrestrial power holding you bound, blocking your progress, saying you will not get what belongs to you, any ancestral power, any terrestrial power, blocking your manifestation, blocking your expectation, blocking that thing from reaching your hand. I pray, let the fire of God arrest them, let the fire of God consume them, let the fire of God consume them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Genesis 27, we read of the story of Esau and Jacob. There was a manipulation exchange by Rebecca, their mother. What Esau was expecting, his birthright, was manipulated through no fault of his somehow by his mother and it was manipulated and he never got it. At the end of the day he got some you know just some some blessings not the firstborn right he just got some blessings he was blessed back right but not what he was expecting the firstborn right was different was totally different the firstborn right was supposed to establish him and his generations forever but unfortunately he missed it through manipulation I pray for you that right that you ought to have, that blessing that is ordained for you from the foundations of the world that you ought to have, it shall not be manipulated, it will not be exchanged, 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 not be exchanged. in the name of Jesus. The original script of your destiny, the original script of your glory, the script that you came into this world with, that you're supposed to act out, that you're supposed to play out, that you're supposed to manifest. It will not be satanically edited in the name of Jesus. Every, any, any power that wants to manipulate or rewrite your script for you, any power that wants to rewrite your script, the way they wanted to rewrite the story of Jesus, they told Pilate, Pilate said, King, you know, when they nailed it to the cross, he wrote, King of the Jews. The elders of Israel went to, you know, the chief priest went to him and said, no, don't say he's the king of the Jews. Say he said he's the king of the Jews. Father yeah. said, what I have written, I have written, I have not changed it. I pray for you. Your destiny will not be changed. Yeah. Your script will not be edited yeah. satanically. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. the, the powers of darkness will not edit you yeah. for evil. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. You see, there are people with sepulchral throats and foul tongues who swallow people's expectations. But they will cast them out of their belly today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Job 20 and verse 15. Look at what the word of God says in Job 20 and verse 15. He had swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly. Hallelujah. He had swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly. Hallelujah. 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 I pray for you that all your riches that have been swallowed. Your blessings that have been swallowed by the enemy, they shall vomit them up. Yeah. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let them vomit them up. Yeah. By fire, by power, yeah. let them vomit them up now. Yeah. Vomit them up now. Yeah. Vomit them up now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. God wants me to tell you that He is not silent for the matter at all. God is not silent for the matter. So people are wondering, but I've been praying, I've been fasting, what's going on? I don't know what else to do. You know, it's like God is silent on my issue. God is not silent on your issue. You see, for many, the waiting has been so long, and they wish that, you know, that they understood why. The cry of their, their heart is this, that, oh, why is God so silent? Why hasn't he answered me? Why hasn't he said something? Why can't God just tell me something? Look at what the Lord of God says in Proverbs 13, 12. It says, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when desire comes, it is a tree of life. 
Dearly beloved, as many as are going through this right now, then, you know, you are wondering why is God quiet to me? What is going on? But, you know, the, the rest of the you that do not give up. Do not give up. Do not give up. Psalm 62, 1 and 2. Psalm 62, 1 and 2 says, Truly my soul silently waits for God. From him cometh my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. He is your defense. You will not be greatly moved in the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, my son, my daughter, I have kept you for a while in that situation in order to build up your ability to handle the testimony that will come. You see, God is silently building up your capacity to handle it. He's building up the capacity for you to handle it because it is, it is, it, it will be a disaster for you to succeed when you are not prepared for it. It will be a disaster for you to become a parent when you are not prepared to be a parent. Because what God wants to, the child God wants to give you is a child of destiny, not just any child. Hannah waited so long because God wanted to deliver Samuel into her hand. And Samuel wasn't an ordinary child. He wasn't. So Hannah had to wait. God had to build her capacity to be able to come to the point of making that vow that, Lord, if you give me this child, I will give him back to you. Because that was what God wanted. So, you know, you know so she was waiting. She was, it was painful. It was a painful way. The same way it's painful for you. But God is saying, I'm building your capacity to handle it. I'm building your capacity to handle it. So many young boys today who have made money have wrecked their lives. Majority of us, you and I, if we get money too early, it will wreck our lives. So God is withholding it until you and I are ready for it. There's a position that you are not ready to enter now, which you want to enter into, but because you are not, you are not ready yet. So God is building your capacity. I pray for you that the grace for you to patiently wait with the right attitude. Receive that grace. 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 In the name of Jesus. And God is saying that out of your waiting shall proceed thanksgiving. Look at Jeremiah 30 and verse 19. Jeremiah 30 and verse 19. Then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of those who make merry. I will multiply them and they shall not diminish. I will also glorify them and they shall not be small. The Lord will multiply you in the name of Jesus. You will not be small. You will not diminish in the name of Jesus. After this situation that you are in right now, shall proceed thanksgiving. Shall proceed thanksgiving. Shall proceed thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus. I see God turning your expectation into fulfillment. Your expectation will be turned into fulfillment in the name of Jesus. You that woman, you will carry your twins. In the name of Jesus. You will receive double for your trouble. In the name of Jesus, double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you, that brother, that content that you've been expecting. You've been working on your proposal for such a long time. They've been promising and promising and promising you. I pray for you that your wait will not be in vain. In the name of Jesus, what they took from you, you will receive double. You will receive double. You will receive double. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, the story of this brother, so, uh, some years back in, in Lagos, he, was, he went to be for a contract in Abuja, the state of government. He was given the contract. Then all of a sudden it was cancelled. He was despondent. Meanwhile, he had already come to church giving testimony, oh, God has done it, the God, you know, I've gotten it and all that. All of a sudden it was cancelled. About four years later, they called him back and said, We are sorry for what we did to you. They now reviewed the contract and it was, I think, they now giving, was it like times times three or so? What the father was originally what? For wasting his time, for the embarrassment that was done to him. I pray for you. The compensation that you are not even expecting. Receive that compensation. Amen. Receive that compensation. Amen. Receive that compensation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you that the Lord will make everything beautiful in his own time. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In your life, the Lord will make all things beautiful. Amen. All things beautiful Amen. in his own time. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you that every disappointment hovering over your head, hovering over your life, is here by nullified. Amen. That disappointment is here by nullified. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That disappointment is here by in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now say after me loud and clear. Say my expectation, my expectation shall not be cut off. My expectations shall not be cut off. 
my expectations shall not be cut off. In the name of Jesus, say a big amen. Say after me, say my expectations will not be caged. My expectations will not be caged. My expectations will never be caged. In the name of Jesus, say after me, say my expectations will not be diverted. My expectations will not be diverted. My expectations will not be diverted. In the name of Jesus, say my expectations will not be hindered. My expectation will not be hindered in the name of Jesus. My expectation will not be hindered. It will not be blocked in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say amen. Say my expectations will not be monitored. My expectations will not be monitored. My expectations will not be monitored. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. I pray for every member of your family. That your expectations this month, your expectation for the rest of this year, your expectation for the rest of this decade, your expectation beyond this decade shall not be attacked. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. it shall not be attacked. 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I pray for you that expectant mother. Next time you take in, that pregnancy will not be aborted in the name of Jesus. That power that keeps attacking you in the first trimester, making you to miscarry. That power is hereby arrested, is hereby arrested, is hereby arrested in the name of Jesus. Your expectations will not be disappointed again. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that your, from today, your expectations will not be manipulated. It will not be manipulated. It will not be manipulated. It will not be manipulated in the name of Jesus. Your expectations will not be manipulated in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that woman, that your expectations will not be delayed anymore. It will no longer be delayed. It will no longer be delayed. It will no longer be delayed. In the name of Jesus, that thing that you are expecting shall be delivered expressly into your hands. In the name of Jesus, having waited for so long, you will not be disappointed again. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that your manifestation shall rise to maturity. Your, your expectation will rise to maturity. It will not be aborted locally. It will not be aborted internationally. In the name of Jesus, your manifestation will rise to maturity. In the name of Jesus, powers that kill good things at infancy. The spirit of kings, that spirit that kills good things at infancy. Those powers are hereby arrested in the name of Jesus. They are hereby arrested in the name of Jesus. They are hereby arrested in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command your destiny to reject manifestation abortion. In the name of Jesus, command me to say a mighty amen to that. I command your destiny. To reject manifestation abortion in the name of Jesus, reject it, reject it, reject it, reject it, reject it, reject it. In the name of Jesus, your spiritual, physical, and financial expectations shall not be cut off, shall not be disappointed. In the name of Jesus, shall not be cut off, shall not be disappointed. In the name of Jesus, they shall not be cut off, they shall not be disappointed. In the name of Jesus, they shall not be cut off, shall not be disappointed. In the name of Jesus, your spiritual, physical, and financial expectations will not be disappointed. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. From today, we just manifestation our portion in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From today, no power from the kingdom of hell shall truncate your manifestation anymore. In the name of Jesus, no power from hell will truncate your expectations. In the name of Jesus. In this land where you are, in the land where you are, whether you are in Europe or America. Your expectation for signing your documents will not be aborted. 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 In the name of Jesus. Anything that the devil wants to use as a legal ground, maybe you told some lies in the past that has, you know, that the devil is using as a legal ground to oppress you in that area. I pray by the mercy of the Almighty God. The same way God took away, God made the iniquity of Joshua the high priest to pass away from him. And God said, remove the garment of shame and put on it the garment of glory. I pray, let the Lord take away your iniquity from you Amen. now. In the name of Jesus, let your iniquity be removed Amen. from you. Your iniquity that may make your, your, 
your you know your blessing to pass from you. Let that iniquity be removed. Let it be removed by the mercy of God. Let it be removed by the mercy of God. Let it be removed by the mercy of God. Let it be removed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, there is a harvest for you, and that harvest must come to pass. In the name of Jesus, there is a harvest for you. You that person you are watching right now, there is a harvest for you. You that woman, there is a harvest for you. You have been sowing, you have been giving, you have been serving God faithfully with all your heart, with the right attitude. There is a harvest for you. That harvest will not be aborted. It will not be attached. It will not be aborted. It will not be attached. It must come to pass. It must come to pass. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your expectation shall reject attacks. In the name of Jesus. It shall reject attacks. It shall reject attacks. It shall reject attacks. In the name of Jesus. Your expectation shall, you know, it will reject attacks. The, there's something they call bulletproof power. That is the blood of Jesus. Now, when I say I soak you in the pool of the blood of Jesus, or I laminate you in the pool of the blood of Jesus, you will shout a big amen. Because that is like the bulletproof vest that would repel any attack that comes against your manifestation. I pray for you, that person. That from I soak you in the pool of the blood of Jesus. I, I laminate you, spirit, soul, and body, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I laminate you with the blood of Jesus. I laminate you with the blood of Jesus. I laminate you with the blood of Jesus. Your expectations shall reject attacks in the name of Jesus. Your expectations will reject attacks in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you that person by the sword of God. Let the sword of God be at any strong man attacking your expectation. Any Goliath, any Pharaoh from your foundation attacking your expectation. Let the sword of God be at them. 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 In the name of Jesus. After Goliath fell down, David went there, took Goliath's sword, and used it and cut off Goliath's head. The sword was so heavy for him to carry because it was so huge. He used Goliath's sword to cut off Goliath's head. I pray for you. The enemies will use their own sword to kill themselves. In the name of Jesus, every enemy of your expectation, every enemy of your manifestation, let them use their own instruments to destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus, let them use their own instruments to destroy themselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. No more attacks. Either in the dream or in the physical. No more attacks. 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 In the name of Jesus. You that person that you keep having the same dream. Anytime you have to, you know, receive something good, you keep having this repeating dream. That dream comes. Once it comes, everything scatters. Once that dream comes, and everything just goes off. Anytime you have a presentation or an interview or something, you you have this particular dream, and that will be the end of it. I pray by the authority in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, every dream attack, every repeating dream attack. Wasting your blessing, wasting your manifestation, erasing your expectations. Let that dream be aborted. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No more manipulation of your expectations. In the name of Jesus. No more manipulation of your expectations. In the name of Jesus. No more manipulation of your your expectations Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that your expectations will reject evil monitoring Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your expectation will reject evil monitoring Amen. spiritually and physically Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your expectation will reject evil monitoring Amen. physically and spiritually Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your expectation reject it, reject it, reject it, reject it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that every monitoring agent that may want to monitor your expectation for evil, let them go blind. Amen. Let them receive blind. Blindness. Let them receive blindness. Let them receive blindness. Let them receive blindness. Let them receive blindness. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Some years ago, a brother came for deliverance. He was deported from Germany back to Nigeria. What happened? Unknown to him, his elder sister was monitoring him all through his stay in Germany. When 
The brother came for deliverance. The pastor followed him to, by the instruction of the Almighty God, through God's servants that they were doing. One of the deliverance ministers followed him to the sister's house. And they asked the woman, Why have you done this? She went into her bedroom and brought out a mirror. And she told the brother, You see this mirror? This is what I was using to monitor you. Why? Because you didn't tell me where you were going. You thought you could run away. That was the offense. He didn't tell her before he traveled out. So she got upset. She got angry and began to monitor him with the mirror and began to walk against him. She told the day he fell down in the mall in Frankfurt, she told him, she saw, she, she told him the name of the mall where he fell down and he was hospitalized. She told him, she was monitoring him with, you know, with, you know, with a satanic mirror. Why? Now, this brother, why did he travel out? He traveled out because he was expecting to do well, expecting to go out there, do well, come back home, you know, invest, enlighten, you know, you know, generally prosper. So his expectations were aborted by this evil monitoring power working through his sister. I pray for you. Every evil monitoring power monitoring you for evil, saying that the way you traveled out is the way you will come back. Let those powers be arrested. 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 In the name of Jesus, any monitoring gadget they are using to monitor you, whether it's a mirror, whether it's a pot, whether it's a Whatever it is, any gadgets in the kingdom of darkness being used to monitor you for evil, wherever you are, let those gadgets bomb by fire, 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every monitoring agent, let them go blind. Let them go blind. Let them receive blindness. In the name of Jesus, let them receive blindness. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that from today your man, you know, your expectation will reject will reject hindrances. In the name of Jesus, nothing will hinder your expectation anymore. Nothing will hinder it anymore. No law will hinder your expectation. No legislation will hinder it. In the name of Jesus, any evil judgment passed on you in any witchcraft common to destroy your expectation or to hinder it or to abort it. Let that judgment be reversed by the blood of Jesus. Let that judgment be cancelled now. Let it be cancelled now. Let it be cancelled now. Let it be cancelled now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every hindrance on your way, all hindrances on your way, I command them to clear away by fire. Let the fire of God clear them away. Let the fire of God clear them away. Let the fire of God clear them away. In the name of Jesus, every hindrance on your path to success, every hindrance on the way of your expectations to manifest, I pray, let the fire of God clear them off. 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 In the name of Jesus. I pray that your traditions will not be swallowed, will not be transferred satanically in the name of Jesus. It will not be swallowed. It will not be transferred satanically in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you that every flood the enemy is releasing after you, every flood of affliction, every flood of problems, every flood of calamity that the enemy is releasing after you in order to swallow you up. To swallow that blessing up. Let the earth open up Amen. and swallow them. Let the, blood, let the earth open up Amen. and come to your rescue Amen. and come to your aid. Amen. Let everything in creation fight for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, let everything in creation fight for you. Let everything in creation fight for you. Let everything in creation fight for you. In the name of Jesus, let everything in creation fight for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you that any demonic power using the sun, moon, and stars to fight your expectations. Let the fire of God arrest them. Let the fire of God consume 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 them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray that your expectations will not be substituted or diverted. It will not be substituted or diverted. In the name of Jesus. The same way Laban substituted Rachel with Leah for Jacob. Your expectation will not be substituted. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. your expectation will not be substituted. Amen. It will not be substituted. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the man worked seven solid years to get a wife. On the day of the wedding, the wife came in. He removed the veil. And lo and behold, it was a different person. Amen. That will not be your story. Amen. It will not be your story. Amen. It will not be your story. 
In the name of Jesus. It will not be your story. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your expectation, your manifestation will not be covered or buried. In the name of Jesus, it will not be covered or buried. In the name of Jesus. Every, every power, every principality, any agent conducting evil barrier for your expectation, for your blessing. Let those powers be arrested. Let them 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 be arrested. In the name of Jesus. Let them be arrested by fire. In the name of Jesus. Let them be arrested by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft common attempting to disturb your manifestation. Let that which has spoken be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Let them be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Let them be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Your manifestation will not be messed up. It will not be messed up. It will not be messed up. It will not be messed up in the name of Jesus. It will not be messed up in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that person. There are strange dreams, strange dreams that have been manipulating and strangulating your expectations. Those strange dreams shall disappear by fire Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every strange dream the enemy is using to manipulate your expectation, to manipulate your help and helpers, your helps and helpers. I pray let those strange dreams be aborted. Amen. Let them be aborted. Amen. Let them be aborted Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every channel through which those dreams come into your life, every channel which, you know, through which the enemy is manipulating your dream monitor, let those channels be closed permanently Amen. and then be closed forever. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let them be closed forever. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Look at what the word of God says in Judges chapter 6. We're talking about Gideon. In the life of Gideon, in those days, the Bible says the, the children of Israel did that which was evil in their eyes. Yeah, evil, did, did that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord. They did whatever they pleased. And God was angry with them. So God delivered them to the hands of their enemies. But when it came to the time of Gideon, the angel appeared to Gideon and said, Mighty man, mighty man of valor. Gideon looked at himself and asked the angel, What is mighty about this situation? Because what was happening at that time was they will harvest, uh, sorry, you know, they will plant. When it is harvest time, the Midianites will come and pack all their harvest and leave the children of Israel impoverished. Impoverished. They will go hungry. Why? When the expectations of a harvest, after the planting season, the expectation of every farmer is to have a bountiful harvest so that they can eat and relax and enjoy themselves and their families. But the Midianites will come, pack away all their harvest, pack away all their crops, all their animals, their sheep, and their oxen. So Gideon was under, you know, by, was by the white press. But he was, he was, he was stretching wheat in order to hide it from the Midianites when the angel appeared to him. And the first thing the angel told him, said, you must destroy the altars of your father's house. You must destroy those altars because I want to do something good. I want to use you to deliver this nation. I pray for you. You will deliver your family. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are the one that will deliver your family. Amen. You will be the Gideon that will deliver your family. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you will deliver your family Amen. from failed expectations. Amen. You will deliver your family Amen. from failed manipulation. Amen. You will deliver your family Amen. from failed manifestations. Amen. Failed manifestation will never be your portion in the name of Jesus. You are the Gideon of your generation. And you are a mighty man. You are, whether you are male or female, you are a mighty man in the hand of God. And you will do brilliantly. Lord will use you to deliver generations in the mighty name of Jesus. But first of all, we must destroy some altars. I want to pray for you. I'm going to first Kings 13 and verse 2. And he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord and said, O altar, altar, thus said the Lord, Behold, a child shall be born unto the house of David, Josiah by name, and upon thee shall he offer the priests of the high places that born incense upon thee, and men's bones shall be burnt upon thee. Men's bones shall be burnt upon thee. I pray for you. Every invisible altar, every visible or invisible altar, every spiritual altar, every mobile altar, every stationary altar of your father's house, of your mother's house, where do you work against your expectations? Where do you work against your manifestation? Let those altars bomb by fire, bomb by fire, bomb by fire, bomb by fire, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Any satanic altar from your foundation, any occultic altar, any marine altar, any household evil altar, any witchcraft altar, waging war against your manifestation, waging war against your expectations, waging war against your blessing, waging war against 
against that rain that's supposed to fall upon you and bring that blessing to physical manifestation. I pray, let those altars bomb by fire, 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 bomb by fire. In the name of Jesus, I pray that any even any junction altar. Any altar in any high place, any forest altar, any ancestral altar, or any idolatrous altar, operating from your foundation or from your environment, waiting war against your expectation. Let those altars bomb by fire. Let those bomb by fire. I command to bomb by fire. In the name of Jesus. Let them bomb by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every altar of your father's house, every altar of your mother's house, I challenge them with the blood of Jesus. I challenge them with the blood of Jesus. I challenge them with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command any token they are using on any of those altars, any token being used by any priest on those altars, both the priests and the you know, and the tokens they are using on those altars shall con be consumed by fire, Amen. let them be consumed by fire, Amen. let them be consumed by fire, Amen. let them be consumed by fire Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. If there's any altar living inside you, unknown to you that you don't even know, Amen. on any altar program esoterically into you, unknown to you, that is waiting war against your expectation, against your manifestation. Let that altar bomb by fire. Let that altar bomb by fire. Let it bomb by fire. Bomb by fire. Bomb by fire. Bomb by fire. In the name of Jesus. Let it bomb by fire. In the name of Jesus. If there is any sacrifice made on, on any altar against your expectation, any sacrifice, let that sacrifice be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire. Fire in the name of Jesus. Any evil covenant working against you on any evil altar, working against your manifestation and your expectation, let that covenant break now. Break now. Let it be broken by the blood of Jesus. Let it be broken by the blood of Jesus. Let that covenant be broken by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft altar created specially against you. Any which have altar created, erected, crafted, specially against you and your expectation. Let that which have altar catch fire. Let it 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 catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Let it catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Oh my Lord. Say, Lord. Say, Oh my Lord. Send your fire. Send your fire. Destroy every altar fashioned against me. And my family, and my in the name of Jesus, name say, Oh Lord, my Father, Lord, my send, Father. Your fire. send your fire, destroy every altar fashioned against me, in the name of Jesus. So shall it be, among God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Ghost. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, set to Beloved, I raise an altar. I raise an altar of fulfilled expectations, among God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Ghost. This month shall be a wonderful month for you and I, in the name of Jesus. That thing you are expecting shall locate you by fire. In the name of Jesus, that promotion you are expecting, that contract, those papers you are expecting, those documentation, those permits you are expecting, shall locate you by fire. In the name of Jesus, it will not be stopped upon this altar of righteousness. It will not be stopped in the name of Jesus. Upon this altar, let there be a daily traffic to and fro to take up our request, bring back answers speedily. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. In the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Ghost. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are declared. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, settle. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you happy? Are you happy? Amen. God bless you. Suppose, in case you're watching, not suppose, pardon me. You are not born again. That is the greatest decision you can ever make. I want you to open up your heart right now. Just pray this simple prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I confess my sin before you. I admit that I'm a sinner. I confess my sin before you. Have mercy upon me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Take me. Wash me clean. Cleanse me from my righteousness. Deliver me. Give me a new piece of life. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus, you alone, you are God. To the glory of God the Father. In Jesus' name. You are born again. Your name is written now in the book of life. If you pray that prayer with me, please call us on the number on the screen uh, so that I can pray, continue to pray with you, follow you up, and encourage you in the Lord. God bless you. I want to encourage everyone, please keep giving as you've been giving on this platform. Please keep, keep sowing you know, towards the work of God on this on this altar. God bless you very good. The details are on the screen. The account details are there. 
for you to for you can first to give a good result uh, using the touch email address plan prayer academy Houston at gmail.com plan prayer academy Houston at gmail.com for Zell, for those in America you want to text to give also the details are there or you can go to our website if you're outside of America go to our website you can do that through paper uh, on www.planhouston.com planhouston.com the details are there the promptings are there for you to follow God bless you with good shall we share the grace with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore Amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow you and I all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever Amen God bless you. I see you on Friday, same time. God bless you.